from McFarland Toys, Batman, the animated series, Batman Collect to Build, The Condiment King. <sighs> this guy has been done before. Um, however, this time you have the Collect Connect. You have four arms, the Batarang, the grappling gun itself, the grappling gun with a hand that you connect with. On the side here, we see Batman, the animated series Batman, the DC Direct line. And on the back, we get a, a video of the Condiment King. Okay, then we'll go over here to the side. We see uh, animated Batman here from the Batman, the animated series Batman. Um, and here is the UPC if you guys need it. Okay. And let's go ahead and open up and get them out of the okay, box and see how we have them out of the box. We'll go ahead and take a look at the card first. And we see here is the artwork on the side. And you can see we have a bio of Batman. You can pause to read it. All right. Next, we'll look at the Condiment King's arm. And we have both of them that come with Batman. The other figures in the line will help complete the series. They should be here shortly from Target. They were pre-ordered. Okay, let's take them and put them over here. All right, let's first look at the bat gun, or the grapple gun with his hand holding it, his right hand. Next, we'll take a look at his fist hand. Right. And then we'll look at a hand that can hold the batarang. Okay. Other side, same thing, battering our hand. And it comes with a fist. Left side, the grapple gun itself. Have accessories. And least, last but not least, the battering, simple battering from the series. Okay, and as we look at Batman, I am glad they included the cake cloth. Um, it's a nice feature. I am. Definitely looking forward to this guy sitting in the Batmobile and not having to, to force his uh, cape in there, which is kind of nice. But he does have this sh cell shading here, um, which is kind of ridiculous uh, in a way. I think they could have just given us a regular fairy series figure and we would have been fine with that. Um, you'll notice he does have the blue highlights over some of the black and as we look at the figure itself we see that he can look up which is nice he can look down a little bit he can turn his head he can do a good t-pose rotation at the shoulder and elbow the elbow itself has a bend and he does have rotation at the glove and at the wrist. He does have a little ab crunch, rotation at the waist. His legs are a little stiff right now, so I'm going to be a little careful. I don't want to hurt the figure. Um, you can definitely see mine needs some heat to pull him out, but he does have a double bend at the knee. His rotation has right here at the boot and his ankle can go forward and back and has some rotation on the side here. Okay, so now if we look at the figure, we come in and see that he comes in at six and a half inches tall. We'll go ahead and get a weight for this guy. And we see that he is coming in at and three. And now do a figure comparison. As always, here comes DC Multiverse Hazmat Suit Batman. And we'll have in-game Joker. And we'll bring in Desert Commando's Snake Eyes. You'll see he fits in well with the um, G.I. Joe Classified and the Star Wars line. So, final thoughts on this guy. It is definitely a uh, Batman animated series with that face and those um, uh, cell shading. 
Um, like I say, I love the fact that they gave him a cloth cape instead of the plastic one that the original ones came with. Um, definitely looking forward to putting this guy in the Batmobile and uh, seeing how he fits. And once we get Robin, that'll be another additional rider in the, in the car. All right, guys, as always, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.